So let's start uh, one to, um, 30 minutes, one minute, uh, so, so, 30 seconds per project and one minute maximum. So please can by sequence, uh, how much time, please? And uh, after we have uh, 19 projects, please give a talk. We, we start, we already started, please. <laughs> Video view. Hello, my name is Tetsuya Kamot. Uh, my demonstrations. Some combination of the multiple display gave us a uh, wandering 3D uh, dimension spreading. We call it a perceptive 3D um, and name it video view uh, to the, this multiple display system. View means Japanese view, uh, furniture used for room partition and decoration. Its folding size painting has a kind of 3D dimension space. When we put the multiple video on it, we can feel the immersion uh, strong stereoscoping the 3D uh, feelings. So welcome to, um, I hope you enjoy uh, this system uh, tomorrow. In this week, thank you very much. Great talk. Next. <laughs> uh, it's not here, I was writing a sound in MR space in D4. Um, and the next, uh, Mojitsuki, please. My name is Yudomori Mochitsuki. Uh, do you know Mochitsuki? Mochitsuki is a traditional Japanese culture uh, event that is often held in festivals. It is an event to make mochi by pounding steam like using a pistol. However, many public Mochitsuki festivals have been cancelled due to the uh, norovirus. To protect the traditional, uh, we protect a virtual reality experience of Mochitsuki to a virtual reality system. Thank you. I want to say that the project is partially get ready. Okay, Tebari and Shadow. Bonjour. Uh, I'm Noria Sobshi from the University of Tokyo. Um, my title, my work is titled uh, Temari and Shadow. Uh, Temari is a, a traditional Japanese toy ball uh, made, made of silk, and you can uh, basically interact with the balls of the uh, in graphics of the balls are uh, with your shadow. Right. <laughs> um, so I hope you can enjoy this simple yet uh, enjoy a playable uh, in installation uh, tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, and D9. This person, uh, superhuman sport is not here. So superhuman fighting sport by uh, uh, Kanaga Institute of Technology, uh, Yusuke uh, Miyauchi and uh, Yoichi Yamazaki. So the superhuman sport was uh, last year's uh, theme, and uh, also it's uh, motivating with the uh, Tokyo Olympic 2020. And uh, uh, he is uh, um, there. Uh, the team is focusing to uh, the fusion with the robotic technology. Uh, can be uh, makes a hybrid uh, uh, experience. Uh, one side for the uh, handicapped person and one side for the gamers. So e-gamer and fusion by a fighting game. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> so, Invasion, Invasion, Invasion. Yes, uh, he is very uh, already busy in this moment. Invasion uh, by Iceberg uh, French. Uh, he, the last year, he have uh, they have prepared, uh, presented with the Orbital View uh, project. Uh, in this year, he is a writing by uh, Farsi. Uh, you can see here in the R1. Uh, next question, please. Hello everyone. Uh, this is the VR field, and uh, I'm, I'm, my name is uh, Matsuki Esmoto. Uh, we realized uh, the new sports using the movie, uh, VR, but uh, I don't uh, like uh, the HMD, so I realized uh, this uh, mobile sports using the uh, smartphone and the motion tracking sensor and some real uh, physical uh, tools. And in this picture, uh, left side is the ball, and uh, we combine the uh, two sensors and the uh, uh, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> and the bow, and the next uh, last side is uh, using the gun. Uh, it's a very physical one. So uh, now I reach uh, in the revolution uh, uh, booth R three. Yes, uh, please come and play. Thank, thank you. you very much. So hello everyone. Uh, we are from uh, uh, Makan University in Japan, uh, Makan University. Uh, the, the purpose of uh, this project is to create uh, a new uh, education, uh, biological education tool. 
uh, by using artificial life or air life. Uh, the system, uh, the proposed system uh, consists of air life behavior simulation and a tactile aerial display with combination of aerial imaging by radio reflection. <laughs> Go, go, go. Ayutaki I enjoy interaction with uh, uh, fish like air life through uh, area imaging and haptic feeling. Uh, please come to uh, our uh, booth. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, hello, so here we present our new uh, hardware devices <coughs> for spatial multi-duality. And this is a conjoint demonstration with uh, INRIA, which is a French research lab. And we have three demonstrations, one for kids to help them to learn how to mix colors. The second presentation is for uh, disabled children with uh, low vision or no vision, with a ta ta tactile um, uh, botanical um, atlas. And the last exhibition is uh, with an um, artificial neural network with tangible tokens. And come and see us, it's just next to the other top. Oh, okay. Thank you. So we will give a talk uh, in this afternoon. Next person. Hi, my name is Takashi Kita. I'm from Japan and I'm a student of uh, Osaka University. So this is a virtual reality system with galvanic vestibular stimulation, GVS. So this is GVS is a uh, uh, technology that can induce virtual acceleration sensation uh, by passing electrical current through the vestibular system. So please enjoy our uh, next generation virtual reality with uh, uh, acceleration feedback. Thank you. Perfect. <laughs> Just in time. Okay, aisle seven. Hello, my name is Yui Osato. Kerot means the fusion of the character and the robot. This Santa Claus is displayed by Midoya Image Technology. You can interact with him using the small robot in the real world. Carrot is a pseudo haptic approach for interaction with the CG characters. Thank you. Thank you. In our segment, we can give a talk. Hi there. Um, I'm Shu Han Wu Kang from the Tokyo Institute of Technology. Uh, have you ever think of uh, uh, experience that you are on being stretched. If you have, then you must be crazy people. <laughs> and we are these kind of crazy people doing this. We aim to uh, present the supernatural ability for prayers. And the, the main first we pr uh, propose is that um, we firstly design the 3D graphics for the uh, on stretching simulation, which is necessary for the VR experience. And then the little is the haptic device. The first mechanism is that it can stretch your skin and the second one is that you can shift uh, the center of the gravity. We believe it can offer the sensation of the on stretchings and that is the introduction of the gong gong shooting. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, my name is Ping Shen Han from National Taiwan University. Well, our project called Aero of Element. Well, it is a new haptic technology can enhance the environment with different kind of tactile sensation. But uh, half the experience is very hard to tell, so <coughs> please come to visit our booth. It's on the R9. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so, any of elements, so I'll authorize from Massachusetts. Hello, hi. Uh, so, Authorize is an artificial intelligence based handwriting system. It's primarily a project to raise dialogue around how much physical control um, machines have over our actions and our bodies. So. Here, the computer is trained on a collection of books, mostly philosophy, art, technology books, and also on a database of human writings. Then the machine is continuously producing some text, and it's using the person's hand to write that on paper. So it, uh, there's a magnetic system under the table, which moves the person's hand to write what the machine is generating. So yeah, come and try it out. Thanks. Thank you very much. Hi. Uh, this is Carty Garden, and we visualize online customer uh, through VR space, uh, like just uh, like in a, a real store. So uh, when the customer visit the website, uh, we uh, track every detail of each customer's behavior. So you are uh, able to be aware of 
uh, what customer needs and which uh, category they are looking at and uh, which specific product uh, they may be most interested in. So this uh, helps people uh, realize what is missing in the idea of uh, web marketing. So uh, if you have any interest, please come to our booth. Thank you. Thank you. Our event stand is designed as a one plus one, uh, so it's a fusion with the uh, next bus. So hello everybody, my name is Rex and I'm from Japan Kanago Institute of Technology. So Masquery is a on-site on QR code based VR experience analysis, a analyzing system. What it does is that by incorporating QR code with a, um, with a hygiene mask, you can scan it and you can use it to answer questions to all the VR experiences you experience. So please join us to advance the um, um, VR virtual reality analysis to the next stage. Thank you very much. Thank you. So everyone knows that here is a big, uh, huge talk. So unfortunately, uh, the person cannot speak the uh, speech talk. So white dolphin. Uh, so uh, does anyone has the uh, white dolphin? Oh, not so well. So, <laughs> please, 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 please. I'll give it up. So yeah, it's uh, very difficult to do a pitch in one minute about a product that is uh, used for relaxation. So uh, maybe it will take two minutes to tell a bit more about, uh, uh, about our project. Uh, I just heard uh, the previous uh, man that was here on the stage for a longer presentation talking about art. This is in effect a, a, a project about the healing power of art started by my wife. She is an artist as an art project. But once we had made a film, we were uh, requested by a university in, in, in the Netherlands to use the footage for treating people and helping people with uh, uh, suffering from depression. And um, what happened was that uh, then we were invited to the United States uh, and give more presentations. And actually Stanford University, for example, is using our let's say, art project now to help uh, young children undergoing an open heart operation just before they go into narcosis, anesthesia, <laughs> to let them quietly swim, have a quietly dream, and wake up better, and also they have a better recovery. But from the beginning, we had the idea we must add an extra sense. The eyes have only 3 million neurons. Uh, the whole skin has 100 million neurons. So why not? Oh, this is a lot of... <laughs> A lot of stress again. Well, I will, I will use my glasses afterwards. Um, uh, we, we, we should add an extra sense, and that is what we did. And uh, together with the Innovation Lab of Philips, we developed this uh, waterproof VR goggles. So uh, thanks to Laval, and I'm very, very grateful for their assistance and help. They installed a huge tank, and everybody is invited. We have combination en français. Uh, we have uh, uh, swimming, swimming clothes as well, and some towels, spare towels. Uh, you can you can give it a try. Just float and, and see what it is. Uh, this afternoon I will give a, a short talk of 10 minutes about the project and it's maybe also about what we learned as a, a non-profit startup. Uh, fortunately to have time to develop this project into what it's, it's come now. Uh, active of uh, our footage is now used in more than 350 hospitals worldwide. Um, and the waterproof version is ready since end of last year. It's used uh, now uh, as, an experimental, um, as an experimental use in four therapeutic pools already in the Netherlands to try as well to find out if this is a real alternative for dolphin-assisted therapies, <laughs> which is always with dolphins in captivity. And we think that with dolphins in captivity living only for uh, 15 years on average and in freedom between 40 and 60 years, it's time now to find a real alternative for this. So we all invite you this, uh, this afternoon, it's 2 o'clock, yes. I think, 2 yeah. o'clock, uh, to participate and, and see the presentation. Also about lessons learned, we learned a few lessons uh, so, but, uh, on the way. Greg, uh, my message. Sorry? You? So let's see again at uh, 4 p uh, 2 p m, 3 p.m., just after the lunch. So this is evidence of oh, I'm smiling. <laughs> I get sick uh, in this year. Yeah, yeah. So I have limited uh, uh, with uh, my shoulders. I'm, I'm testing just to see how about the... Uh, one plus one, like uh, smartphone and boom. But uh, during the uh, experience, uh, I then think, uh, ah, I want to be here a long time. So very relaxed. And uh, the video is a little bit uh, uh, 
not Creole, but that's the real. And also, so the video, the real video of 360 video of uh, dolphins, it's not a uh, uh, artificial thing. So that's very natural uh, condition, and also the temperature and the feedback, very natural feedback and floating the feeling is very really real actually. But everyone wants to try. Uh, that's my uh, learning and pure impression. Thank you. Congratulations. Yes, congratulations for the Sigra Prize. Okay. So. So I'll invite you to hear the short presentation, but for sure also test it because I know from experience I can talk for hours about I can talk for hours about this project, but you have to experience yourself. So uh, bienvenue. Thank you. So as uh, the pitch talk has done, so you understand a lot of all of the projects, and uh, not only the, this weekend but also the weekend, and uh, we have a panel session uh, from uh, 2 p.m. So. Take your time and uh, visit the demonstration. Uh, if you want, uh, please uh, take the swimsuit uh, to test uh, the things. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs>